The piece of debat resuming debate. The Honourable Member for Kitchener South, Hessler. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I'll be uh, sharing my time with uh, the member of, uh, for Juliet. Madam Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to speak here today on this important piece of legislation. It is a privilege to be able to speak in support of the passage of Bill C-30, an act to implement the comprehensive economic trade agreement between Canada and Europe, Europe, un, European Union and its member states and to provide for certain other measures. I congratulate the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of the previous government who were involved, as well as the team of negotiators for their diligent and successful work in bringing in this international trade agreement to the final steps required for implementation. There are many reasons to support freer trade. It ensures that consumers and businesses and governments have access to broader assortment of goods and services. It enhances competition and makes available better quality products at lower prices. In a broader policy context, it provides leadership with an inclusive, progressive approach to global trade and the development of more sophisticated, effective and valuable trade agreements. But most of all, trade leads to economic growth and economic growth means more jobs and more jobs mean greater opportunities for the middle class and those working hard to join it. In an uncertain global trading environment, Canada's economy will thrive only if we pursue a market diversification strategy. That strategy requires that we, we should always be exploring new markets while at the same time improving sales performance in a broad set of our existing markets as possible. The European Union is the world's second largest market. It illustrates the scale. 500 million Europeans buy more from the rest of the world every year than everything that Canada produces in a year. When trying to improve sales, the first place to look is whether there is room for improvement with the customers we already have, like Europe, where we've been doing business for, for 200 years. Europe is already one of Canada's best customers. The European Union is Canada's second largest trading partner after the United States. In 2015, Canada's merchandise exports to the EU totaled $38 billion. I represent the electoral district of Kitchener South Hesper in south southwestern Ontario. To bring this issue a little closer to home, in 2015, Ontario's merchandise exports to the EU totaled $19.7 billion, more than half of all of the Canada's exports to the EU, Ont EU. Ontario and Kitchener South Hessler stand to benefit from increased access to the European market. One of, uh, once CETA is implemented, Canada will be strategically positioned to become one of a uh, few developed countries with preferential access to the world's uh, two largest markets, which is the European Union and the United States. Uh, I wanted to bring this a little bit closer to home. Uh, in my writing of Kitchener South Hessler, uh, CETA, the, the implementation of CETA stands to benefit um, uh, advanced manufacturing, which is uh, a big economic driver there and that employs uh, many people with uh, well-paying jobs in my writing. We are able to achieve that $38 billion level of sales to the EU despite the fact that 75% of what we sell to the EU is currently subject to tariffs, taxes, which the EU collects on Canadian goods at the border, adding to the cost of our goods for Europeans, making our merchandise less price competitive. CETA will make Canadian goods more competitive and give our goods an edge over goods from countries which do not have preferential access to the European Union market. On the first day that CETA enters into force, 98% of EU tariff line on Canadian goods will be duty-free, including the most significant Ontario exports. Metals and minerals, products, manufactured goods, chemicals and plastics. Within seven years, that duty-free percentage will rise by one, one more percent to 99 percent. Virtually all manufactured goods, Canada's exports to Europe will be duty-free. 
Similarly, for agricultural and agri-food products, 94% of EU tariff lines will become duty-free immediately, rising to 95% within seven years. The European Union is also the world's largest importer of services. Under CETA, Canada's service provider will benefit from the greatest access the EU has ever provided in an agreement. This is particularly important for the Ontario economy, in which services accounted for 77% of the province total GDP and employed more than 4.9 million Ontarios in 2015. Once Canadian goods or services have been imported into the EU, CETA pro provides that they must be treated no less favorably than the local produced products. For example, they cannot be subject to higher taxes, stricter product regulation, or restrictions on sales than for a similar domestic good. At the end of 2015, Europe was the value for 21% of foreign direct investment by the Canadian companies totaling $210 billion and $242 billion of foreign direct investment in, in Canada had been made by European companies representing 31% of all foreign direct investment in Canada. CETA provides investors in both Canada and Europe with greater protection while respecting government's ability to enact legislation and to regulate in accordance with the public interest such as environmental protection or people's health and safety. Governments are some of the most substantial purchases of goods and services. The annual pro procurement spending by European Union governments is estimated to be uh, an area of $3.3 trillion. CETA provides Canadian firms with the opportunity to bid on contracts to supply their goods and services to European governments at all levels. Under CETA, skilled Canadian professionals and business people will find it easier to work on a temporary basis in the EU and to move across borders as required. For example, to establish branch offices and to provide services related to goods sold. Madam Speaker, I stand earlier, uh, I stand here today uh, enth enthusiastic about the increased trade means growth. Uh, Madam Speaker, I stand here today uh, enthusiastic about the increased trade agreement with CETA. Trade means more growth, uh, growth means more jobs, and more jobs mean greater opportunity for those uh, trying to enter the middle class. CETA will be good for my constituents in Kitchener South Hespler, creating jobs and opportunities. It will be good for Ontario and it will be good for all Canadians. Thank you, Madam Speaker.